first I'm using this Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation, I think it's called, and I'm blending it all over my face, and it's lighter than my actual skin tone because the comic book person has to be a little paler than what my skin tone is, but it doesn't have to be too, too pale, so I'm lighting that with my beauty blender down my neck, and if you want it really dramatic, you could do up your ears, and... <laughs> I am doing the eyebrows and the eyebrows are very like sharp and dark so I'm not really focusing on the shape as I am with the darkness and I'm using the Lorac Pro palette and I'm mixing the colors espresso and black I am priming my eyes for the eyeshadow, and I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in yogurt, and it's just like a champagne -y base color. And after that, I'm packing on the light pink shadow in the Lorac palette, and quickly just blending a taupey brown color from the Lorac palette into the crease. Not really concerned on how like smooth and blended it is, because it's like, supposed to be like paper and comic books and very sharp. After I did my eyeshadow, I'm just curling my lashes and applying Baby Dolls Mascara from YSL. After that, we're going to go on to the most important feature, which is putting the dots, like the pop art, on our face. So I'm just taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and there's no really technique to this. I found out that I was really twisting, really, just the giant, like, st like jumbo stick into, like, my face, like, just rolling it. And if you want it really perfect, you could fix it, like, the ones that are messed up with a white eyeliner. So it's really simple to do, and it looks really cool. Another essential part, which is the next step to the face, is applying contour lines. So I'm just taking this Urban Decay uh, Glide On 24-7 Eyeliner Pencil and contouring my nose, like where the bridge of my nose is, and the side of my nose, by your nostril, your lips, and you could do your collarbones if you would like. <laughs> After that, I'm applying this reddish orange NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color, I think, Morocco. And this is like perfect because it's the perfect color. And just leave a little space on one of the lower corners of your bottom lip because you want to put a little bit of the white either eyeliner or jumbo eye stick that you put there as a kind of like highlight, like a really dramatic highlight. <laughs> Now onto hair, I wanted to keep it simple because I didn't want it to draw away from the makeup. So I just took Batiste Dry Shampoo and just kind of put that on my root to soak up any oils. And I just put it in a ponytail. And this is my natural, like, curlyish hair. You could have it, like, with whatever way you want. Curly, straight, wavy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Now it's on to the outfit, and the she almost chevron-y striped skirt I'm wearing is from Forever 21 with a plain black simple crop top, which is from Wet Seal, and my Steve Madden booties that I actually recently hauled that I'll put down below from Steve Madden, as I said before. <laughs> Ooh, when you took my heart, that's when we fell apart.
apart Cause we both thought that love lasts forever Last forever I see the magazine